What impact can a few bridges have on a country's economy? Let me illustrate. A bridge connecting the capital to all the other islands would significantly boost the tourism industry, spur agricultural goods distribution, and even stimulate real estate if all 149 cities become fully connected. This is what railway bridges in the Philippines are capable of because of the infrastructure renaissance going on in the country. From the ambitious Metro Manila subway that connects the Ninoy International Airport to the $6 billion Clark Green Railway, these are the top five railway bridges and how they'll change the game in the region. Let's begin. Kicking off our list at number five is the PNR Metro Commuter Line. It stretches from Tondo, Manila, to the southern and northern edge of Metro Manila, linking the cities of Manila, Colocan, Malabon, Makati, Tanguig, Paranaque, Mutinlupa, and the province of Laguna. Presently, there are 31 railway stations, but only 27 are operational today. The current line will be replaced by the North-South Commuter Railway once it's completed. All stations are presently at grade, with most stations using a side platform layout. Fun fact, the commuter line is one of the two commuter railway lines of the Philippines National Railway currently in service. The other one is the PNR commuter line situated in the Bicol region. So what value does this railway bring to the nation and the Southeast Asia region by extension? First, it reduces travel time between Metro Manila and the province of Laguna. With a project designed to accommodate over 300,000 passengers daily, it's going to improve commuting within the city. You may not understand the benefit of reduced travel time, but it means a lot to the people living or working in Manila. For instance, workers can get to their offices without being exhausted due to long travel hours, so they'll become more productive during the day. Another impact of Metro Manila is seen in the real estate sector with property prices in areas along the station already doubling as development becomes more attractive to buyers and investors. Furthermore, the existence of the light rail will change the game in the labor sector. The increasing number of developers and investors means labor-intensive projects such as hotels, schools, and other businesses will be established, which will provide more employment opportunities. Overall, the light rail will provide a cheaper means of transportation. At number four, the Clark Green City Railway stands out as a pivotal part of the North-South Commuter Railway project. It's hard to discuss railway lines or bridges in the Philippines without discussing this railway network. It's envisioned as a critical link between Malolos Clark Airports and Clark Green City. It's part of the North-South Commuter Railway project, a 163-kilometer suburban network connecting Clark, Pampanga, and Calamba City. The project is expected to catalyze regional economic expansion and improve accessibility. The rail will span 39 kilometers and comprise nine strategically pivotal stations, enabling smooth travel for passengers and goods. The railway is expected to transport approximately 1 million people daily and will be the cornerstone of the region's transportation infrastructure, significantly improving efficiency and connectivity. The project will be built by the Department of Transportation and the Japan International Cooperation Agency, which indicates their pivotal role in developing and executing this crucial transportation artery. However, once the railway becomes operational, the Philippines National Railways, or the PNR, will take over day-to-day -day operations and maintenance. This plan will ensure this vital transportation links smooth and reliable operation. The initiative represents a significant step forward in improving the transportation network, fostering economic vitality by ensuring convenient and quick travel between essential regional hubs. Beyond transportation and economic boom, this project represents people within and outside the Philippines and offers other benefits. One of said benefits is reducing one's carbon footprint. In most cities, carbon monoxide emissions come from transportation, so driving for medium length distances is terrible for the environment. With this rail network, most people won't have to worry about cars or motorcycles for their travels. Therefore, their footprint will decline by as high as 80%. In addition, the project will create direct and indirect employment in the region because railway construction often requires significant labor force participation. For instance, this railway project will need the construction of an operational control center, main workshop, light repair shop, and track maintenance space, which will provide employment opportunities for those within and outside the city. Interestingly, the government expects the project to provide jobs to 1,400 people during the operational phase. 
Lastly, it'll accelerate the local economy through additional features such as elevators, automatic fare control systems, fare adjustment machines, gates, and data collecting machines, which provide opportunities for foreign investment. The third spot goes to the South Commuter Railway Project. It's a section of the approximately 56 kilometer long South Commuter Railway financed by the Asian Development Bank. The railway will run along the existing Philippine National Railways and comprise 19 stations. The rail line connecting Metro Manila to Calamba, Southern Luzon, is one of the most important projects of the federal government's Build, Build, Build initiative. What does this project mean for the region? The project will provide improved connectivity in the public transport network by connecting with all existing LRT, MRT lines in Metro Manila including a connecting tunnel to allow the operation of direct trains from Calamba to stations on the proposed Metro Manila subway system. It's also designed to withstand natural disasters, such as typhoons and earthquakes. The Philippines and other Southeast Asian nations often experience these natural disasters, so building a rail line to withstand them creates room for significant foreign investment, since investors can rest assured that their investments are protected from such devastating events. Coming in at number two, the Metro Manila subway is perhaps one of the most ambitious urban rail projects in the Philippines. It'll connect the capital city with Valenzuela, Quezon, Pasig, Makati, Taguig, and Pasay. The subway will have 15 stations between the Quirino Highway and FTI stations. The 36-kilometer rail line will become the country's second direct airport rail link after the North-South Commuter Railway with a branch line to Ninoy Aquino International Airport. The project, funded by Japan through its International Cooperation Agency, will cost approximately $7 billion and will be declared partially open in 2025. So what does this project bring to the nation? The subway will be integrated with the public transit system in Metro Manila and connect with other urban rail transit services in the region. Besides the aesthetics, the project will aid in the decongestion of Metro Manila a visit to the capital shows it's one of the most severely congested cities in the world, even though there are only 12 million residents. In addition, millions of workers from within the metropolis and surrounding provinces commute to their workplaces daily, braving traffic crowds given the inadequate public transportation system. Since the project will improve public transit, it will provide a source of investment. For instance, the project connects the international airport in Ninoy, which can bring foreign investment because nationals from other southeast regions will have easier access to urban areas in the Philippines. Furthermore, well-functioning public transit could significantly increase urban land value, leading to further productivity and overall welfare. Lastly, designing and building a train requires an extensive network of industries, manufacturing, engineering, and logistics. Therefore, it will create more jobs in the region since the Philippines won't have all the necessary skilled labor to complete the project. Taking the top spot, the PNR South Long Haul is the most impactful railway bridge project in the Philippines. The project will cost over 175 billion Philippine pesos and will be funded by China. The train will have the capacity to support 100,000 passengers every day. The 639-kilometer line will connect Metro Manila to the southern Luzon provinces, shortening travel time from half a day by car to six hours. The proposed project is part of the larger Luzon rail system, a network of long-distance standard gauge lines being constructed by the Philippines' national railways through the industrial city of Luzon. However, the project has suffered a series of delays, starting with the withdrawal of Chinese official development assistance in 2023. Construction will be divided into five phases. When it's completed, the entire project will have 35 stations. Beyond the steel and rail gauge, the project will bring many benefits that will change the game in the region. First, the project is built to be competitive with air transport with a maximum speed of 160 kilometers per hour. So it will reduce airport traffic and provide citizens with cheaper transportation. Second, the railway is expected to have a high carrying capacity which implies that more cargo can be carried in a single trip. This will lower the transportation costs for commuters in the country. Overall, the train railway will be capable of connecting communities across the region, fostering more economic growth. Do you know that the effect of this project goes beyond transport? The project will fill the gaps in the labor market by closing the distance between job seekers and job opportunities, 
improving labor market matching efficiency, quality of life, and resident productivity. The areas within the highly populated Luzon and Metro Manila that make up the project's catchment area currently differ considerably in wages, job accessibility, and other labor indicators. Poorer areas tend to have low access to more and better jobs. So, the project will help workers in at least 48 cities and municipalities in Metro Manila and Southern Luzon get to work with railway stations, and will on average give them access to more than 300,000 jobs. Now that wraps up our look at the top five railway bridge projects changing the game in Southeast Asia. Each project not only enhances connectivity, but also drives significant economic growth throughout the region. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.